Here you have the Kawata twins. In this video, I will reproduce his haircut and style. Roll the tape. For this type of style, sectioning the hair is not very important, only to organize your work. First, I will cut the perimeter to establish the shape. I will create a straight line on the back, but knowing that the curl and the shape on the hairline will run the shape on the sides. The sides I will cut following a diagonal back cutting line. On the French technique, first you establish the shape on the perimeter, and then you cut the layers on the interior from the top to the bottom, following the shape of the head using vertical sections. If you're interested in getting this style, at the end of this video I'll add some commentary to share with you if this is going to be great for your face type or your hair type. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. Establish the length on the top of the hair by cutting a straight line on the center of the head. Using this as a guide, cut the top of the head. If you like to help this channel grow, share the short videos on your social media. TikTok and Instagram, they are perfect for that. You will be doing me and the channel a great favor. As you can see here, I'm using a curved angle, following the curvature of the head. You will need 8 to 10 fingers of length on the top of the head or even more if your head is extremely curly. Continue cutting around of the head to connect the top to the perimeter length, cutting this graduation angle. Use this texturizing technique around the whole haircut. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Thank you to all of you for your support. Let's see if you can get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year. On the sides, I prefer to do horizontal parts to perform the texturizing technique. I cut some selected strands about two thirds of length from the scalp. How many strands would need to be cut depends on the person's hair density. This texturizing technique will make the ends lighter on the surface of the style and add support and volume by creating an internal structure. This will help to get the spheric look. Paste from 1821 is my favorite product for curly hair, but on this case I will mix it up with wax to add volume and texture. Apply some water to facilitate the combing and the product distribution from roots to ends. Now you can let it dry naturally, or you can use the diffuser like I'm going to do. This tool is very effective to dry the hair without making it frizzy. Avoid touching the hair to help the curl form naturally. To recreate this style, I would use hair spray to add support and hold for this rounded shape. I will work my way up from the nape by layering the curls and placing the hairspray underneath. This style works well with any face types. I would recommend this look to anyone with curly or extremely curly hair, now that the longer hair for men is on fashion.
I love the style on the banks ending in a center point. It's very effective on making this look a little bit more modern and depart from the traditional 70s look. Plus, it will help you if you have a rounded face. Here you have the 360 view of this look and the final picture of Angry and Happy from Tokyo Revengers. Next week, I will share the video with the style of Christian Bell on American Psycho. This style is super in fashion right now. This is Angel del Solar, the Hellbender.